It's called the Metropolitan Correctional Center. But when Attorney General Griffin Bell said he planned to pay it a visit today, he called it your federal prison. The Attorney General was given a 45-minute tour of the high-rise detention facility by the warden, Walter Lumpkin, starting with a walk through the metal detector in the lobby. Everybody goes through, he was told, before going inside. The tour started on the rooftop recreational area with volleyball net, basketball hoops, punching bags, and wire grating separating prisoners from the sky. The building currently houses 639 prisoners, most of them Mexican nationals being held on charges of smuggling drugs or people into the United States. The Attorney General found the TV set in one of the rooms on the 10th floor tuned to TV8's sunup show. On the 8th floor, an open dormitory, there was a brief disturbance when one of the prisoners overturned a table. Early guard grappled with the prisoner and hauled him away. In the communal area on the sixth floor, the attorney general stopped to talk with some of the prisoners. Once he tells them who I am, okay. so they'll know who to talk. Señoras, Griffin Bell is the jefe del Departamento de Justicia de los Estados Unidos, y les va a preguntar unas preguntas. Y si usted tiene preguntas, también le pueden preguntar a él. All right. Where's this young lady from? What place? I thought that from the board. Why are you in jail? Oh, why I'm here? Oh, for the smuggling aliens. Smuggling that? She smuggled others. That's right. You helped bring some other aliens in. I mean, is that what they say you did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. The fact that they came from so many different places and the various ways that they were apprehended, how they entered, uh, the fact that they'd been, some had been here a number of times, sent out, come back, uh, just confirms, I guess, what we already know, and that is that we have a great country and a lot of people want to come to this country. And, and, and we do have a problem because we have such, a, have such drawing power. I noticed that you asked several how long they had been in this country. Would that be in tying in with uh, your concept that those who have established an equity might apply for citizenship? Exactly. That's why I was asking. For example, the woman who had been here seven years had a child and had a common law husband who is legal. Uh, was a sort of a situation that I thought might warrant some uh, attention. You also talked with one young man who had been arrested uh, uh, while he was working in a restaurant in Palo Alto, and I think you inquired whether he had a Social Security card. I did. And most of the people I've noticed uh, had been working, and none of them had Social Security cards, so uh, it makes you wonder if the employers are, are really worried about where they're employing uh, illegal aliens. So the Attorney General says he'll be carrying back some new insights when he returns to his office in Washington, D.C. This is Jonathan Dunrakin reporting for TV8 News from the Metropolitan Correction Center in downtown San Diego.